So, hi YouTube, um, Sandy again. Just bringing you another uh, dive product um, or diving related product, product review. Um, here in the UK, it's uh, the end of November at the moment. It's getting really cold. Uh, I'm just getting over man flu, so apologies for the slightly nasal voice and uh, possibly the inevitable cough um, during this um, review. So bear with us. So I just wanted to show you <coughs> while I've got time. Um, my GoPro rig that I've been using this year. So I bought this um, in January and I've been using it all year so if you watched any of my other videos it's highly likely that this is uh, this has been uh, used in at some point in the video and I still use my GoPro. Um, I still use all my other mounts as well. Love them, never get rid of them. But I just wanted something that I could hold with two hands and take some you know relatively steady footage with and, and this fits Bill quite nicely. It's not specifically um, a GoPro rig. Uh, this this uh, rig can be used for any camera, um, so uh, let's just take a quick look at it. Okay, so it is made of um, all aluminium with a few stainless steel nuts and bolts. Um, when you buy it, you buy the initial tray, you get this front bit here, this arm, and this uh, sort of light arm, I guess we call it. Um, you This extra arm here uh, is an addition. Now it's all modular, um, all these bits come to bits and there's little bolts underneath and all kinds of slidey adjustments that you can do. Um, but basically your camera's fixed with just a standard um, tripod screw. So obviously for your GoPro, you're going to need to put it on a tripod mount before you can mount it to this kind of system. Okay, so it, it is um, all cast aluminium that's then been anodized. Um, you can get it in blue in black and I've seen pictures of people with red versions uh, but cameras underwater don't do it um, so if you know somewhere that does for anybody that uh, fancies a red version and you, and you know where to get one then put, put, uh, put a link in the comments below so uh, be interested. Um, the bolt snaps here are just what I've added so I can snap it off to myself when I'm done with it um, so <coughs> they don't come with it and obviously uh, the video light uh, I've already done a review on so uh, that, that obviously doesn't come in it either. So have I found it? Well it's it's um, it's done what I wanted it to do really. Um, if we have a quick look see that? Ah there we are. Um, it's got very very big sort of wing nutty uh, type um, thumb screw jobs that uh, undoes everything and then you can move it around uh, and then you can tighten it up. They're dead easy to use underwater. Um, you know, big thick neoprene gloves or dry gloves, uh, still absolutely no problem using them whatsoever. Uh, and everything's on this old ball and sort of um, uh, O-ring kind of rubber system. So yeah, normally, I mean, if it's locked up like that, sort of half a turn is enough to free everything up. You can then move it to where you want it. And then half a turn, again, locks it back in place. So really, really easy to use. And you've got one on the arm, you've got one here and here. So it just gives you a massive range of uh, motion in your light. So whether you want to uh, sort of you know, drag it over and put it, so you're, you're sort of lighting something from the top while you're shooting, or you know, you can tuck it, oops, um, you can tuck it down the back. I mean, you know, I'm normally videoing uh, something a little bit like that, something nice and close and tight. Obviously you can buy the extra balls and the extra arms, so if you want to make this a two light rig, you can absolutely do all that, it's not a problem. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, really, really good, really, really impressed. And the quality is such that it should be something that you really only have to buy once, do you know what I mean? You're not, you know, it's got a few nick, dings, excuse me, dings and nicks and scratches on it, <coughs> but nothing that affects the way that, it's, that uh, it, it functions. So really really quite pleased and so it should be because it's not a cheap bit of kit this for the first arm you know so well the tray as they call it and then the arm that bit's 150 quid on its own for the additional arm here uh, that's an extra 30 quid so 180 quid and that's before you put a light on it and a camera and so on and so forth so it's not the cheapest system out there by a long shot but um, I would imagine that I'll still be using this in 20 years time uh, and I don't think I'll have had a problem with it um, in that regard anyway. So 
Um, that's all the good points. Uh, what are the bad points? Well, there's only one really. So I'm just going to take this off so I can show it you. And we might just flick the camera so you can have a have a bit better look. But I'll do the talking there and I'm going to just put that together. But I'll show you a little bit of it here. So this is the problem. So this is what they um, rather humorously call the ball clamp. Now once you've stopped laughing at that, uh, <laughs> proper look. Okay, so uh, like the rest of the unit, um, these sort of holders here um, are aluminium. And the big ring nut that we really spoke about is aluminium. But the nut that goes up through the middle of it is stainless steel. And it's a good stainless steel. And there's no problem with that. However, um, as anyone who's, who's probably done any mechanicing ever knows, um, if you put aluminium with stainless steel, um, something nasty happens and it just um, welds together and uh, becomes unusable. And that's precisely what happens with these. Um, the first time I used it in the sea, went out, did a weekend's diving, Fantastic, everything worked really, really nice. <coughs> really, really good. Had a good weekend. Now, I really, really look after my kit. Um, so, uh, much to my wife's consternation, when I get back, everything has a good soak in the bath, uh, and then has a good little hot shower, um, and uh, yeah, she goes mad about it. But, uh, but there we are. And this had exactly the same. So, two days soaking in fresh cold water, a good rinse, and then a rinse off with warm water with a shower and uh, dry put away in my box month later went to get it out this is absolutely seized solid will not move at all uh, so a bit annoying especially as you have to buy the whole thing and it's 20 quid just for that so 40 quid in total because of course both of them are buggered so really really quite annoyed uh, i was fortunate um, in that uh, i caught mine early enough so liberal doses of wd-40 and um, i managed to get quite a long bar on the wing nut to apply some nice even pressure without snapping it and i managed to get mine freed up uh, but a fellow diver of mine has got exactly the same rig same color and everything uh, wasn't quite so lucky and he sheared he sheared um, the handles off so he had to just stump up the 40 quid uh, for two new uh, ball clamps so um a little bit annoying, uh, a little bit annoying because this is, you know, it's a premium product. It's not a cheap camera rig. It's not something knocked up in your backyard. It's supposed to be a, you know, used for life and first dives, and it's buggered. So um, I was at the dive show a couple of weekends ago in Birmingham. Uh, cameras underwater were there, so I took my ball clamp and uh, went and had a bit of a pop at them really, and just sort of said, look, you know, what, what you're playing at, um, selling this dodgy rubbish, really. <laughs> um, and uh, anyway, they, they, they tell me that uh, UN now know of the problem, uh, probably after many complaints, and the now supplying, well, he said to me it's a Teflon nut. Now, I'm assuming it's not 100% Teflon. I'm assuming it's Teflon coated. Uh, but whatever, it's supposed to have cured the problem. And that's great if you're buying one now. However, they are not supplying replacement nuts to um, owners that have already gone. Not even to buy. I mean... It'd be nice to get a couple of replacement nuts for free, so I don't have to have the problem again. Um, but I'd be quite happy to pay a couple of quid uh, for a nut, but but they're not, uh, according to cameras underwater. So um, I've got some more uh, snotty emails to send out on that regard because uh, I think that's I think that's pretty pretty disgraceful, really. You know, for if they can just send out a bag of bag of nuts, so people could actually buy one that's not going to lock up. So <coughs> if you've got one. Well, what, what people are having to do is uh, a quite onerous sort of maintenance regime is where every time you've been saltwater diving, you have to bring it home, you know, do the rinses as per normal, but then strip it down. And there's lots of little tiddly washers in it and all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, it's a real pain in the butt to sort of strip it down and not lose everything. Um, but anyway, you, you have to. So you have to strip it down and then you have to grease everything to within an inch of its life. Um, and then, of course, obviously, when you go in the next sea dives that all washes off so uh, you have to do it over and over and over again so yeah real kind of pain in the bum uh, and if I'd known about it um, I would I, it certainly would have made me look at something else perhaps so that's it anyway guys um, certainly have a look at one um, make sure you're getting the one with the Teflon nuts 
Uh, but if you are, then you'll be buying a camera rig. Uh, it should last you, you know, probably right the way through your diving career, to be honest with you. It really does do a nice little job, and it's so well built. Um, I'm sure you could run the car over it, and you know, most of it would be absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, it, definitely one to look at, but, but just check you are getting the one with the Teflon nuts. And... So anyway, um, that's it. That's me probably done through till uh, Christmas now. I've got... Um, video editing courses to deliver and this that and the other so I'm really quite busy so I hope you have a good Christmas um, I hope 2015 has been good for you I hope 2016 is even better um, and I look forward to seeing you then okay guys have a good one take care <laughs>